All right, Julia Whitaker, third place bronze medal at the U20 World Championships. What's going through your mind right now? It's honestly such a blur. It just happened in such a quick moment. I feel like we've been, you know, focusing on this and especially with the rain delay, we were just like sitting at the warm-up track for so long and then we got here and we just got to just to start away. So it's definitely quite a blur, but I'm just so grateful that for this experience and to have it alongside Roshi and one of my closest friends just means the world to me. Um, and yeah, I'm just proud of the year that I've had and how much, how far I've grown from last year as an athlete and just as a person. So yeah, I couldn't ask for more. That was a fast race. Can you, can you walk us through it, through it a little bit? Yeah, it was fast. When I saw that 200 split, I was like, whoa, we're we're going for it. Um, so yeah, it was definitely, you know, one of the fastest races I've had, you know, just out of the blocks. Um, usually, you know, I kind of work the second half a bit more, but today was definitely just fast out of the gun. So it was definitely, you know, a different kind of race that I've had, but it's a learning experience that'll be really used for my future, so. Did it feel like your kick wasn't quite what it has been in some of the other races because of that fast start? Yeah, definitely. I felt it, you know, coming around that like last 150 was definitely challenging. And even just, you know, that third 200, usually I really try and work that third bit. Um, but it was kind of hard, you know, I was kind of running in lane two for probably more than I should have been. Um, so doing a little extra work that I really had to. Um, but definitely called it in that last 150, but just try to give it all that I had. But by the time you and Rosheen were on that victory lap and accepting all those congratulations, did it almost feel like you guys had done something together? And maybe if there was any sting from getting you know, third instead of first to second, that it just felt like you were good now. I mean, you guys were doing it together. And you were, you know, you were winning two medals for Team USA. Yeah, you know, usually when we race each other, you know, we're not usually running for the same team. So to yeah. both be running for the U.S. this time, and especially in the next race that we do, we'll both be running for Stanford. So that's just an incredible experience. And yeah, I'm just happy to do it alongside her. Along Roshin Willis, first time sub two. Congratulations. How's that gold medal feel? Thank you. I'm so, so grateful right now. It's been a long season. So much has happened and to end it. And um, with this time and this race, I'm just super, super grateful. How much did that semifinal kind of inform the way you ran just now? Because it seemed in the semi, like you went out super hard, but yet you still trusted your kick and you still had that great finish at the end. Did that sort of give you a lot of confidence for the way you could run strategically? Yeah, I think the semifinal is a real game changer for me. Um, you know, I really boosted my confidence in where my fitness was. And today I wasn't really expecting to take it out that first lap, but I trusted it. I knew I did in the semifinal, so I just started to trust the plan and just keep going. So, yeah. Did you know you had something left when Barrel <laughs> went? Oh, man. I mean, the only thought in my head was don't give up. You know, I knew in the back of my head that if I were to be in a position where I was coming in second into the home stretch, that I'd give it every single thing I had. So um, I stuck with my promise and just and just trusted myself that I could, I could bring it home. How much do you think that 400 background helps you on that, yeah. that last? Oh, those 52s, no. all those 52s. <laughs> yeah, that first lap, it really pays off. You know, this, this speed work I've done, it just really helped me going out that first 200. So I'm really grateful for coaches that really value that. and really paid off today. Is it scary at all, having to take out a world final like that? Because it was kind of like Rudisha esque <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really expecting that I would do that. I kind of didn't think it would play out that way. But, you know, I just went in there and I was like, you know, I'm giving it all I had. And, you know, that was the only thing I told myself. So, yeah. had, had you all, had you either of you talk strategy with each other uh, when you're waiting there today during that rain delay or just any time in the last day? Not really. I mean, yeah. we definitely knew that we wanted to take it out pretty yeah. hard. Um, just, you know, everyone, we weren't really sure, you know, how much people could do like back to back and yeah. we were kind of pretty confident in our strength. Um, so I think we both thought that both of us would run better if we took it out somewhat fast yeah. and kind of, you know, kicked out maybe like the last kick of other people. Um, so I think going into that, but other than that, we didn't really talk much about it. Yeah. You know, for the past two years, you two have been part of this amazing, you know, era of women's 800, girls 800 running in high school. You, you two and Sophia, you know, are running around two flat or better. How, how, how great is it to kind of conclude that high school era, you know, with two medals tonight? been a long journey together and I'm just grateful we've made a friendship out of it, you know. We could have been all competitive and but you know, we're best friends and we're going to the same school and I think we've really started something special for the US. So just to have this experience with her, I mean it means so much. I mean this experience more fun and definitely is gonna be a memory for a long time. Well, you head to Stanford for a training camp in less than four weeks. What's the plan for like relaxation or recovery in the next month? Two weeks off, yes. Oh, two weeks. Two oh, weeks okay. Two weeks off. You know, we got girls preparing for cross country, but we're just preparing for, you know, an all 
A lot of pop tarts, a lot of free snacks. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, gold medalist, bronze medalist at the World Championships, Roshin Willis and Juliette Whitaker, congratulations again. Thank you so much.